GitHub Copilot can support me in working with both unit tests and acceptance tests. In my example here, I have a function which is currently missing unit tests, extremely common. I go to GitHub Copilot chat and I ask for the generation of unit tests by using that forward slash tests. It's going to use the existing infrastructure that I already have. I've already got some unit tests created and make sure that the new tests that it generates will work with that existing infrastructure. I'm going to apply the brand new code and the tests are automatically going to run in my instance in Visual Studio Code because I have just set up. We can see that all the green check marks show up, showing me that the tests are running successfully. But what if I'm doing a more traditional test driven development approach where I'm going to create the test first and then generate the code? I can still do this with chat. I ask for the test to be created first and it's going to generate the test again using that existing infrastructure. With the test created, I'm going to rerun this and I'll see that the test fails because, of course, I haven't created the implementation yet. With the test created and now failing, let's turn that red to green. I'm going to go back to chat and ask for an implementation of this getByName function. Chat generates the implementation. I return back to my test to rerun it, and I see that the light comes back as green, letting me know that everything is passing, and now I'm ready to move on to the next part of my application. Turning my attention to acceptance tests, right now this application is completely lacking them. Fortunately, with Copilot, just as it could describe the code, can actually generate acceptance tests for me. So by utilizing the hashtag file inside of chat, I pointed at both the HTML and JavaScript that's making up the UI. I ask it to generate the Gherkin syntax for the file, and it generates that initial setup for the landing page. With that Gherkin created, I'm going to put that into my feature file and then turn my attention to getting the playwright code generated. Once again, Chat helps me out. It generates the backing playwright code for my test. With the Gherkin and the playwright created, I go to the command prompt and ask it to run those tests. I see that everything succeeds, and I've also seen how Copilot can help me out when I'm working with all sorts of tests in my code.